behalf of the Campbell family, on behalf of the marathon team that we created, on behalf of my wife, Bonnie, Cameron, and the folks at the Boston Foundation, we cannot express how excited and elated we are to create this project within CCSR. The philosophy is we uh, believe in creating uh, programs and activities that create students uh, who become leaders and global citizens. That this is an honor to partner with the Crystal Campbell Community Betterment Project. I think that Crystal would be really proud of this partnership. And what makes the CCSR unique is that all projects are driven by the students' passions. And every project in some way is designed to make the community and essentially the world a better place. today with Garen Veris, one of our New England Patriots defense events. Can you tell us why you're here today to celebrate with us? Well, I, uh, when I got the invite, uh, I mean, it's, it's just such a, a great program for our young kids to do something that uh, affects our community, affects our society. I mean, social justice and social responsibility. Uh, you know, the more that they learn at this age, uh, the better they're going to be and, and have gone through it and know the subjects as they get older. So, uh, you know, I was so happy to, to be part of this and uh, representing the New England Patriots Charitable Foundation and our New England Patriots alumni. Um, we just wanted to show our support for all the, the great things that are happening here today and what uh, the kids are learning. So I also want to say thank you to Richie Trotter, Mr. Trotter, the CCSR, the Center for Citizenship and Social Responsibility. I'm really excited about all the projects that the students have been working on and today again is going to give us a great opportunity to delve deeper and share this great message of social responsibility and social justice with the world. This is, I love, it's fantastic. It sounds like the kids had a great time. And I love the slideshow. It's so, that's beautiful. I see you have, uh, my favorite word is uh, respectful. That's, that's my favorite word. I always, the, is a queen bee also required for these or is it a different type of? As many people as possible can come to the, uh, is it June 8th you said? Yeah, June 8th at 10.30. Fantastic. Medford is a wonderfully rich, diverse community. And I think this is a wonderful way to really let everyone see that. And I, it's super exciting to be here. We have over 57 projects that are represented at the high school and over 400 students participating in the districts um, this year, which is really wonderful. So I've already had the opportunity to, to speak to both boys and I am just so... Hopefully you can implement this and, and see, see how much actual water we can gather and, and divert outside of that. We're so proud of what the kids are doing and what they're doing with uh, social justice and social responsibility. Leadership in Athletics CCSR workshop during the summer of 2019. Uh, one of the most important things about being a leader is that you collaborate and you put together a strong team because you're only as good as the team you have around you. And I think as athletes, you certainly learn that very early. Uh, one of the reasons why I think I ultimately became a leader in the profession that I chose was because I tried to surround myself by a lot of leaders and I watched and I listened. And I just kind of surrounded myself with a bunch of people who I thought would be great role models for myself. Had an interesting experience as a quote unquote leader. Um, you know, sometimes I think leadership is something that uh, people anoint. And I think if I've learned anything, it's, it's something that at the end of the day is really earned um, based on your. And all these stories that they just shared didn't come easy. You have to work hard. We can't get to these positions that we are today and that you, are, you guys are in right now without persevering and working hard through those challenges. And I think with that, you become stronger. To answer your question uh, of how to get like everybody to hold the rope on a team, I think uh, you really need to like have a positive attitude. And so think about ways that you can hold the rope and develop that camaraderie on your team where you guys will have that cohesive unit where you'll have each other's backs. Because I think those are the most effective teams. Togetherness, T for togetherness, right? 
when you're coming up, like, pay attention to your leaders, and eventually it's going to come your time, and you have to do what you have to do, and you have to persevere for your team. We're seniors and part of the Medford High varsity softball team. Leadership in sports means responsibility, collaborating with others, and representing the Mustang community in a positive way. Leadership in sports means setting an example for your underclassmen and your future Medford Mustangs and showing them what it means to work hard. We'll see you at the field. Leader has integrity. Down! Number 42! Set! Hit! A good leader is coachable. Leadership means sportsmanship as well. Effective leaders are Mustangs.